on any particular day, a random cascade of events could evict any one of us from our homes. Some of the most important people have been excluded from the conversation. The homeless people themselves and the people who work directly with them on a regular basis. Today we will ask them some questions about their lives and then we will ask you to share your answers to the same questions. We were in this like little small town and everybody in the town was slammed when they laid everybody off at the Superior Lumber. It was horrible. It's been about 32 years of uh, being, you know, getting out of jail and needing to get a truck or a car and a, and a house and an apartment and a job and being, you know, on parole or probation. That was just the way I was raised, is that if you have something to give, then your life is better because you're giving it and the people around you, life is better too. That's win-win. So why wouldn't you? It can get incredibly depressing and very, very tiring. Um, you're constantly being moved and being told you can't stay here. You're preyed upon by people who are housed who feel like you're a target. There's a lot of times people don't interact with people. And that, to me, is not good for humans, you know, just go days and not talk to anybody. Mostly I was mad at myself and I turned that inwards and, I, in, and it, became, it became depression. And you're out on the street and you can't even get enough sleep to get grounding, to get credibility, to get sanity. And you, you start to see things. That's the worst thing about poverty. Poverty will try and make you go outside your character. Two weeks is about all it takes. And then you see people get this wild look in their eye. Um, almost like a, a feral look there. Displaced people are the authorities from whom we will learn the most. In order to get good answers, we need good, powerful questions that steer us away from what we think we already know. I challenge you to think about who is your neighbor and what it is that we can do together as neighbors that none of us can do alone. Can you help a bobo out with a nickel or a dime? Can you help a bobo out just doing his time?